Hi, I'm Tiwi, welcome back to my channel. This week's video is my first ever request right here, a CD collection, which is why that is empty, because um, they're all right next to me. So I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible because I do have a lot of CDs and I'm gonna show the ones that have like color, like a cool disc that's not just like a basic one. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so first up for pile one, we have one of my favorite boy bands of all time, Big Time Rush. Love them. Ugh, I want them to do a reunion tour so badly. Obviously, it's not gonna happen this year, or maybe not even next year. But when they do do a reunion tour, you bet your ass I'll be going to multiple shows. This is what the front looks like. What the back looks like. They're so cute. I had the huge crush on Kendall. Oh my god, he's so cute. And then this is what the inside looks like. Such a good album. My top three off of this is Till I Forget About You, Worldwide, and Big Time Rush, the theme song. That is oh, solid. The next is Elevate by Big Time Rush. Love them. This is the tour that I saw them on that my mom surprised me tickets and I literally cried my eyes out. And Kendall and I made eye contact. Granted, I was 11, I think, but still. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, it's true fucking love, bitch. It's true love. That's what the inside looks like. They're not doing a tour right now. Oh, cuties. I wanted to go to their 24-7 tour, which is their next album. Oh, hold on. Wait, my top three off of this is... Love Me, Love Me. Superstar. And You're Not Alone. Those are my top three. I listen, I mean, honestly, guys, I listen to them 24 7. Even to this day, I still know all their words <laughs> to the, like, the songs. And for their last album, 24 7, I wanted to go to this tour. They were coming to Salt Lake. Victoria Justice was on this tour with them, and I love her as well. But my mom would not let me go. <laughs> Did not buy me tickets, which is obviously fine. I wasn't old enough to get a job. But I knew, I had a feeling this was going to be their last album, or at least like the last tour for a while. I was right, and I didn't get to see them, and I got saw them once, and I was really sad about it. <laughs> really sad. But here's what the front looks like. Here's what the back looks like. Here's what the inside looks like. Oh, look, <laughs> yep. Coming to a city near you, I get it. <laughs> here's that, and let me remove this. Oh, they're so cute. I love them so much. I, I seriously, like, I want them to get back together so badly. My top three off of this is Run Wild. Oh, I love these songs. We Are. And Lost in Love featuring Jake Miller. I love them. Love them. Also, these are not sorted by like artists or anything. I mean, they kind of are, but like these are just how I have them set up there because there's like a few Taylor Swift ones at the end, there's another Harry one at the end, and like so they're not like sorted by artists by any means. Next is Sean Mendez. I have um, his If I Can't Have You voice memo three, two, and one. Um, it's obviously not gonna have a favorite off of these, but this is what the front looks like. The back's pretty just simple. These were actually pretty cheap as well, and thankfully I just got paid, and you know me, I waste my money. Did I need all three of these? No. But did I want them? Yeah. This one is purple, and this is voice memo three. This is, oh. This is voice memo two. Same light cover, just like a different color on the back. This one has a really pretty CD color of the clouds and everything. And then we have voice memo one. And this one is the one I have on vinyl as well. This one's my favorite though, CD wise. Look how pretty that is. I love when like CDs have like a design on them. That's like, like oh, it's not just basic with your name on it. Um, next is, has a little cat hair on it. Senorita, that's what the front looks like, what the back looks like. And this is what the inside looks like. Um, I don't have any of his albums on CD. Like I don't have this, I don't have Handwritten, I don't have Illuminate, I don't have, um, oh my God, what is his third called? His third album was just his name, Sean Mendez. So in conclusion, I am dumb. What a surprise. <laughs> but I don't have any of those on CD. 
I want to, I just can't afford it right now. And a lot, like when I get to, uh, I don't think I have a five sauce one, do I? Oh yeah, I do, duh. I don't have five sauce, you know, I'll explain that later. Okay, so I did explain it later. Um, I used to have like every five seconds of summer EP, like every single one. And then my dad, oh my god, wow, he breaks a lot of my stuff. He broke all of them. He left them on the floor because I was at my mom's house while he was doing something to my room. He broke every single one of them. I still like the CDs, but the cases were destroyed. Because my dad, my dog stepped on them. One of my dogs peed on it. So I used to have every single one of those EPs. Now I'm saving up again to get them, but um, that's going to be a bit before I have all of them again. Next is Taylor Swift, Fearless. Oh, she's so pretty. The only album of hers I don't have on CD quite yet is Debut. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this one's broken. My dad dropped it when he was moving them out of my room when I was not here. So it's broken, but I honestly don't listen to these a lot. They're just there for like my wall and everything. So that's what the inside looks like. And then my top three off of this are, oh wait, you already know these top three. Just kidding. I don't need to say these, we already said that in the vinyl <laughs> collection video. Next I have the Speak Now live CD and DVD. I don't have the actual like Speak Now CD, I have like the world tour version. Um, well I guess it comes with it, but I mean like the purple dress one, I don't have her that one. This is what the back looks like, I don't think I showed the front very well, but that's what the front looks like. This one better not be broken, it's not okay. I know there's one more that's broken by me and then one more that's broken because of my dad. Um, but that's what the inside looks like. And then this is really hard for me to, to flip. Oh, Jesus. This is the other broken one that my dad did, but it does make it low-key somewhat easier to flip it because it usually, it doesn't. Um, but that's what the live DVD looks like. It's so pretty, like holographic. Um, but yeah, my dad broke this one as well. And my top three off of like the live version is the story of us back to summer slash apologize slash you're not sorry and long live i just love that one live so much oh, it's so good next we have the album red which as we heard me say before deserved a grammy so fuck the grammys there's what the back looks like this one got a scratch on it on the outside casing they're all fine on the inside but um there's what the inside looks like for the regular and then you can actually like flip it. Oh, this is where I struggle the most. And then it has all the bonus tracks as well. Love that. My favorite off the bonus tracks, here we go. My favorite off the bonus tracks are The Moment I Knew, Girl at Home, and, well, there's only three. Come back be here. I was gonna throw in the demos, but it's fine. So yeah, the bonus tracks are so good. The moment I knew, I love that song. I love crying to it. Oh, such a good song. And next we have her album 1989, my favorite Taylor Swift album. Here's what the back looks like. Here is what the inside looks like. And those Polaroids that we get, I have them all up over there. You can't really see them, but when I do my room tour, you definitely will be able to see them. Um, yeah, I love this. I love the theme for this. I love the decorations. I said this at the vinyl one in my 2019 vinyl collection, but so good. I love this era, like the costumes. Oh, love it. Next, we have her iconic album, Reputation. And this is the album I got to first see her on tour at in the Snake Pit. That was the middle section. I don't know, Snake Pit B or something like that. That was the middle. Um, here's what the inside looks like. Oh, this one's so cool. I love this, and this is such an like an iconic era. Like she, like she stated before, she needed to do this album, and it's so good. I love it. Makes me feel like a badass bitch. Now for this one, Lover. So this is actually the Taylor Swift Me like single edition, um, but I got the autograph like Lover pamphlet that she was selling. So I just stuck that in this. So I don't. I have Lover. I just have it in the. You'll see later on the video, but I have it in like the diary versions. But this is just the me single, but I just stuck the lover thing in it since I don't have an actual lover CD, like that's this casing. Um, and then we have the Taylor Swift Me Live from Billboard Music Awards. 
I went kind of crazy with merchandise, clothing merchandise. I went crazy with Reputation era last time, um, but this era I went crazy with getting the same thing on multiple different platforms. There's what the inside looks like. It's all shimmery. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's shimmery and it's pretty. And this is just, again, I said I said in the last video, the 2020 vinyl collection video, this is the ending so funny. It's like, fuck, I fucked it up or something like that. She's like, I also messed up. <laughs> so funny. For pile number three, which is row number three back there, we have one of my all time favorites, the Bamps. Oh, I love them so much. <laughs> oh my God. As we, as you've heard me state before, I love them. They're so cute. This is what the inside looks like. Again, I would die to see them live. So if they could get on that when the corona ends, when the stupid virus stops, and then we're like, everybody's good to travel again, then... There seems to be like a kidnapper van outside of my house. I honestly think it's just a delivery driver. Oh well. That's what that stupid girl who dies in the horror movie first says. Um, but my top three off of this is, oh, I love this butt. Um, Risk It All, oh, a masterpiece, Risk It All, Another World, no, Wild Heart and then Another World. Those three are my favorite. I love Another World. I want to see it live so badly. Also. Love Struck, Love Struck. That is my all time favorite vamp song, but it's not on any CDs to my knowledge, it's not. And I love that song so much, so much. And I wanna hear that live so badly. I'd pay so much money to hear that song live. I would save up so much money just to hear that one song. Next we have Wake Up by The Vamps as well. Back looks like. Includes free concert DVD, so I have that, so at least I get to listen to that. <laughs> That's what's gonna have to satisfy my love to go see them. Oh my god, oh, Brad, love him. He's so cute. Oh, they're so cute and talented, love them. I wish I was better at just flipping these CD things. And this is the, is this the live one? Not quite sure. I think this is the live one. Love that. And then my top three off of this are Million Words, Windmills, and Cheater. And Boys Out of Car, I gotta throw one more in there. I love this album, love them, they're so cute. <laughs> Again, another game. How many times am I gonna say I love them to an artist? Or... Next we have their Night Edition, their album four. That's what the front looks like, what the back looks like, which you kinda, if you did watch my 2020 vinyl collection, then you kinda already have seen this. But there's the, that, there's the inside, cute. And I already said my top three off of this in the 2020 vinyl collection. Um, they're so cute, I love them. Wait, did this one come with the poster? I think it did, right? No, that's, I think that's the next one. Or I'm just tripping, who knows. This is what the date edition looks like. Cute, and what the back looks like. Includes free concert DVD, wow. Why am I barely noticing that? This is what the inside, this is the one with the poster, yep. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. I'll show the poster in just a second. And then you can flip it. <laughs> As we know, which is now my struggle point. Oh my god, that took way too long. And it's because I was opening it the wrong way. So, love that. That one looks just the exact same, but one's the concert DVD. <sighs> that was so hard. That was excessively hard to get for me. And then this is the poster that came with it. So it has all four of them like that. And then this is the back. This one kind of looks like the vinyl one, just with the white background instead. I don't know why that was so hard for me. Okay. Next we have Five Seconds of Summer's Youngblood. I have Ashton and I have Luke, but my dad broke Luke. So like the CD with Luke on it. And we can't find it because he put it somewhere. So there's Ashton. It has some sticky stuff on the back because originally I had um, these held up by the wrong things, never hang, I don't know what this is, but get like the Comcast, um, poster pull things for posters, and for these, just have a way to hang it up, because this was such a mistake, I had to order a whole new, um, I'll say which one it is at the end, like, but I had to order a whole new CD, because we had to rip it off the wall, and have it stuck to the wall, um, but this is what the inside looks like for Ashton's version, there is a poster, I'm pretty sure, or I'm just tripping, maybe not. Am I just tripping? Oh no, I'm not. 
Yeah, I'm disturbing, never mind. <laughs> I think it folds out to poster, but who knows. But that's what the inside looks like. And we already know my top three off of Youngblood. So I have one more Youngblood. I have the autographed version. This one has some sticky stuff on the back. But, and this again looks the exact same. Love that though. This is such a good album as well. Good era, the concert was great, except for when I almost passed out and I had to leave the front row, but that's okay, <laughs> cry about it later. There's the R5. I got this when I saw them in San Francisco, or was it San Diego? San Francisco, I think. No, yeah, I don't know, it was one of those two. Um, I saw them there and I got to meet them, and I said the stupidest thing to Rydell, and I really hate myself for it, because when I met them, she had a pink wig on, and I was so nervous. I'm in love with Ross Lynch. I'm in love with him. And um, I was like, I love your hair. I meant like her blonde hair, because I was gonna say it's so healthy, which is like a weird comment, but it is. It looks fantastic in her YouTube videos. But I just stopped there and she's like, thank you. And I'm like, I hope you know I meant your real hair and not the wig, which the wig looked great too, but I was like, oh my God, what am I doing? And then they gave me a free second picture with my grandma, which is so nice of them. Do I want to put it up? <laughs> I look really bad, so never mind, I'm not gonna put it up, but they were super nice, and this is what the inside looks like. Did they write on it, or is that just how they wanted it? No, I think that's just how they wanted it. I was like, whoever has that handwriting, I need you to write all of my assignments <laughs> for my stupid anthropology class. My top three off of this, out of the five songs, is If, Red Velvet, and Need You Tonight. Those are my top three. Love them. They're now the driver era, I'm pretty sure. So this one is the one I broke. New City, I love them. They're no longer a band to my knowledge. They're my best friend and I, it's like one of our favorite bands and they came to Utah and we like waited out in the freezing cold to meet them because the venue was 21 and up and we're not 21. Um, but we got pictures with them. Oh, it was so much, but they're not a band anymore to our knowledge. And we never got to see them live and we're so sad. I was like, I should have faked it, faked being 21 and up. But this is the one I broke because I dropped it on accident. I really hate myself for that, but this is what the inside looks like. Hold it together. Cute. Um, and my favorite songs off of this are For My Eyes Only, Dirty Secrets, and Getting Closer Acoustic. So good. If you guys have not heard Dirty Secrets, oh, it's so good. One of my favorite songs in the world. It's amazing. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Next we have Taylor Swift, me, just the single edition. Oh, that's what the inside looks like, this is what the actual one looks like. That's what the back looks like. Love me, great song, love this era, as we know. Next we have Charlie Puth, voice notes. That's right, yeah, voice notes. That's what the front looks like. That's what the back looks like. This is what the, has cat hair on it. This is what the inside looks like. And my top three off of this is LA Girls, Boy, and Empty Cups. Those are my top three off of Charlie Puth's album. Next we have Harry Styles. Oh, have you heard my story in 2020 vinyl where I didn't get the Los Angeles casing, which is stupid on my part, but it's okay. This is what the inside looks like what the back looks like. I actually have another one of these because we got it with the tickets, like my best friend has one as well. Which I didn't, I thought this came with the Los Angeles like casing. How wrong was I? I mean, it was my own dumb fault, but still, still. And we already know my top three off of this from the vinyl collection video. Next we have, oh, I don't have all the CDs for One Direction yet, but this is their Up All Night. Oh, they're so cute. I love them so much and I miss them a lot like a lot this is what the inside looks like and my top three off of this is obviously what makes you beautiful i wish and same mistakes those are my top three love them they're so cute i miss them this is the time of need when i need one direction but i'm also happy they're happy doing their solo careers but like a part of me is aching because i never got to see one direction live don't bring it up because i will cry Next is Badlands Halsey. I love this album so much. I can't wait to see her. I possibly will vlog that concert as long as it's not canceled. It's in July and she's coming to Salt Lake, so. This is what the inside looks like. 
cute baby pink. I love the colors from Sarah. Oh, the colors. It's one of her songs. Uh, my top three off of this is New Americana, Colors, and Young God. Those are my top three. I love this album though. She has an amazing voice and she's incredible at singing. Here's a Water Parks Double Dare. It is autographed. This one I need to reorder. Well, I'm not gonna reorder because it's autographed, but that's what the back looks like because from the stupid sticky stuff, which I will never use again. So just ignore that, please. It makes me cry every single time. And there's tape in here just so it holds it down so it doesn't keep flying open because um, it's just that type of material. And then my top three off of this is Oh wait, I already said it in the vinyl collection video from 2019. Just kidding. <laughs> the next pile we have, which is ones that are not on my wall, so just hold on one second. Okay, so now we're on to the next pile that is not up there quite yet. My dad's getting, we're gonna cut more of that, put more right there. And they're putting three vinyls on the wall right there, like just like these cases things that are gonna hold them so they lean up against the wall. But first off, I have Happiness Begins by Jonas Brothers. Is that for you? I haven't even opened it. I'm honestly not the happiest to promote this one. Um, well not promote, like I have a platform. Um, they are just really rude when my best friend and I met them um, when, in California. Like really rude to the point where we like kind of ruined our night. But um, Jordan McGraw, I think that's his name, he brought out, like he was one of the opening acts. He's the first one, he's Dr. Phil's son. And um, he brought out Jack um, from All Time Low and that was awesome. I literally, that like made my night so much better. And if it wasn't for that, my night would've been ruined. They were so rude, <laughs> I can't. Um, this one's also broken and I don't know how because I just barely opened it. So, okay, I don't know how this broke because I barely opened it. Okay, whatever, we're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, there's that. <laughs> there's what it looks like on the inside. I really don't know how this just barely broke when I just opened it, barely opened it. Front looks like, what the back looks like. My top three off of this is probably Only Human, Hesitate, and Roller Coaster. Those are probably my top three. Where did I put them? Next we have Nile on Flickr. Love him, a fucking cutie. On the inside, same as the vinyl and everything. And let's see, here's what it looks like. It's purple, why am I taking out like it's a vinyl? It's purple. <laughs> Uh, I can't get to them. There we go. And my top three off of this. Oh wait, just kidding. That was in the vinyl video. <laughs> I'm losing it. Next we have Harry Styles, his debut album. Oh, such a cutie. I love him so much. The, it's just plain white. I kind of wish he did like a... I wish he like... Fall, sorry, it's got cat hair on it. I wish it followed like the pink bath. Like it was the pink bath right here. Um, but it's just plain white. Obviously I can't do anything about it. I'm not a product manager but cutie and I think I yeah I already did my top three to this in my first final video in 2019. Next this this is entertainment by water parks. This is the one I had to rebuy because the back was so destroyed from when I took it off the wall. Um this is what the inside looks like. Cuties. Well I know they're not in there but they're so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Love them. Um and we already know my top three off of this from the first vinyl video in 2019. Next we have Halsey Manic. This is the tour she's going on that I'm gonna see her on. Super excited. This is what the back looks like. This is what the inside looks like. And then I'm pretty sure the CD is just plain white. Oh no, it's not, I'm just kidding. Well, it kinda is. It just says Manic Halsey on it. I wish it like had a little bit more oomph to it, but that's just because I really love um, colored CDs like Shawn Mendes' If I Can't Have You, the, that one I really love. But love this album. My top three off of this is Forever Is A Long Time, 3 AM, and Graveyard. Those are my top three off of this. Um, next we have Louis, which I have not opened yet either. Anyway, so we have Louis Tomlinson, Walls. Killer album, love it so much. This is what the inside looks like. And even though I like oomph, albums like on the CDs, this actually kind of just is really nice and simple and I think it goes well with the album. Like just the plain black CD, just his name and the title of the album. My top three on this is Don't Let It Break Your Heart, Two of Us, and Too Young. Those are my top three off of this. Next I have the 1975 um, 
a brief inquiry into online relationships. I don't know why that one's so hard for me to remember. So it looks like the back is just plain. It has that sticky stuff on it again. I'm ashamed to show you. There's what the inside looks like. Cute. And we already know my top three from 2019. So, my vinyl collection. Next we have Fandom by Waterpark. It's, this one's autographed. I got the autograph meet and greet package. Um, this is what the back looks like. And this one is so cool. It's an orange. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. I love that. It's so pretty. Oh my god. I never promised you your dream boy, which is some lyrics from Dream Boy. Um, and we already know my top three off of this. <clears throat> I just choked my own spit. I'm getting my top three off of this from um, my vinyl collection video, 2020. So last, I have all four of the Lover Diaries. This was my birthday present from my mom. Was all four of them. So I got to Target at like right when it, like 20 minutes before it opened, and waited outside. So I'm going to get it. But this is what Deluxe Album Version 1 looks like. Front, back, same thing on all of them, but I mean, I'll show you. Um, one of these says she performed in Ogden, Utah. And I was like, are you kidding me? I live here and I didn't see her. I was really upset with myself. Granted, I was five. So I didn't know how to work the internet or how to do that at all. And then I got this poster. I think this is the same poster in every single one, but she looks so pretty. I'm like, Beauty. Oh, she's so pretty. I'm so jealous. Uh, this CD thing as well. Oh my god. There we go. Look at how pretty that is. This one's my favorite one by far. Oh, you can see me in it. Huh? Reflection. So pretty. Oh, my favorite design on an album by far. So I just have the deluxe version one, a deluxe version two. Same thing as well, same design on album and same poster. Deluxe version three, same thing, same poster, same everything. I don't know if everybody got different posters or if that's just like the default poster that goes in all of them, but. And I just got number four as well. So that is all of my CDs. I hope you all enjoyed. Oh wait, this is just off topic, not a CD. But I'm so proud of how I decorated my laptop. It's got Harry Taylor and five stars. Oh, just kidding, is that the right way? Yeah, that is, okay, I can't read. And it has Marvel things on it. It's so cute, I love them. I got these all like from Etsy. Every single sticker in here is from Etsy. But I'm just really proud of how I decorated it, so I had to show it. But um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed and thank you again so much for requesting. Oh, this is perfect, my first request ever. Um, so this, week, this video will probably be coming out before my Five Sauce Calm Reaction video. Not quite sure, but look out for that. That album comes out this Friday from when I'm recording this, so really excited for that. Um, but yeah, make sure to follow me on all my social media. Twitter is Taylor Wright, capital T, capital W. Instagram is Taylor.Wright, all lowercase. Snapchat is TW1289, and TikTok is Taylor Wright, all lowercase, I'm pretty sure. Thank you guys so much for watching, and oh wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm losing it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share and hit the bell next to the subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. I'm definitely filming a lot more now that I have free time and doing my college online and I'm not even working right now because of coronavirus. So I've got a lot of free time. So make sure to request some items. I also just need to show this. Um, I'm not an artist, so don't judge. I'm not an artist at all, but I'm really getting into painting and I'm really proud of these actually. I copied them from some Pinterest pictures. Um, but yeah, I really, really like these actually. Not, I'm not an artist though, I'm not claiming to be, please don't judge my artwork, I will be crushed, thank you. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and bye!